Nicolás Fernández Blanco was born in Santander, Spain in 1869. At the age of 18, he traveled by himself to Piedras Negras, Coahuila, to accompany his eldest brother, Manuel. A few months later, he traveled to California, hoping to have better luck than he had had in Mexico. He worked as a gardener. Not only did he discover a job, but in time, he discovered what would be his favorite hobby and pastime. In 1891, he returned to Camargo, Chihuahua and partnered with a fellow Spaniard, Manuel Sordo, to start a commercial company, La Feria, a convenience store. During his partnership, Tomás Fernández Blanco extended his operations to what would become his most lucrative business, the flower industry, with the installation of one manufacturing plant and the purchase of another. Twelve years later, he married Rosario Campos Luján, with whom he fathered seven children. With his good character, the entrepreneur taught them lessons that have lasted for generations. How to survive adversity. In 1913, as the Mexican Revolution started, Tomás Fernández was forced to flee with his family to El Paso, Texas, where he established himself for the next 25 years. As impossible as it seemed, especially after being forced to emigrate and losing his capital and assets. Tomás, a man who terribly missed Mexico, returned in 1917. Back in Chihuahua and in high spirits, with the backing of a few North American banks, Tomás Fernández ventured into the beverage business and acquired the Cruz Blanca Brewery. From then on, he extended his manufacturing plants to Ciudad Juárez and Sabinas. A personal major goal was achieved in 1936 when the Coca-Cola Company awarded him the rights as a partner to bottle and distribute its products in Ciudad Juarez through the Frontera Company. The following year, he obtained the license to operate in Hidalgo del Parral and in Nieves, Durango. The beverage company broadened its presence in Sonora, Sinaloa, and Baja California and served as a stepping stone for the 1982 founding of Sistema Argos under the management of his grandson, Miguel Antonio Fernandez. Influenced by the interest that his wife Rosario showed towards education, Tomás Fernandez started a foundation that supported teaching activities in Ciudad Juárez. Because he was noted as one of the most influential men in Chihuahua, and possibly one that cared the most for the state. Yes, Chihuahua adopted him as their own, possibly because Tomás Fernández Blanco, despite the heights he achieved in the business world, never forgot his roots. <laughs>